Yo, what's going on everyone, Expert Fusion here, and Firebase Z comes out in about three days, and I gotta say, I am very excited to be playing a brand new Zombies map, because we've only had one brand new Zombie map in the past, what, like, almost year and a half now, since Togger Toten, we only had one map in between that, of course, which was D-Machine, and D-Machine, as you guys know from my channel, I think it's a good map, I just still think it's a little disappointing and I don't think it's nearly as good as people push it to be. I think a lot of the good things about it mainly come from Cold War's mechanics being really damn good. It's just the map itself, I don't see much enjoyment out of it past playing it a few times because I gotta say man, that map for three months is, is rough man. Having only that map, it, it was it was not been you know, a lot of zombies content for us to, to mess around with in that map itself. And a lot of people say, oh they just need more maps, they just need more maps. But no, I mean, if it was like Shadows of Evil or even just Nine or like a different launch map that we've had before, Spaceland, it would have enough content, at least for me, to play it for three months. But the machine as a map is just not very replayable. That's why I'm not crazy about it. But today, I want to talk about Firebase Z because the trailer came out, of course, a couple days ago, and I really enjoyed that trailer. But there's still some things I'm worried about, some things I'm you know, kind of hoping goes the right way, but I have a feeling it might not go the right way. And there's also a lot of great things from the trailer that looked really exciting and got me very hyped for the map. So I'm gonna start with the good stuff because you gotta get that good stuff out of the way and then we'll hop into the negatives. Obviously, the Wonder Weapon looked pretty damn cool. I just hope there's more than just that one Wonder Weapon. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of having multiple Wonder Weapons within a map. I don't think every map needs the, you know, the Wonder Weapon with four elemental upgrades like we've seen a million times. I don't need that every single time, but I do prefer having a Wonder Weapon for each player, whether it be a completely different Wonder Weapon or whether it just, like, allows everyone to hold the same Wonder Weapon, you know what I mean? I'm not a big fan of maps that have it so only one player can get that specific Wonder Weapon. There's only one of them, so everyone else has to just use other guns. I never like that. It's not fun that way because everyone's got to pick and choose. Oh, who's going to get the Wonder Weapon? It's always better to have the four different variants of something or four completely different Wonder Weapons or one Wonder Weapon just that everyone can get their own version of it. But the one weapon itself, which seems like it's some sort of a ray gun slash AK-47 thing, it looks really damn cool, and I'm really glad that we're getting something very unique for this game. I'm still surprised that the developers are still able to create such unique wonder weapons, and they're not just repeating the same wonder weapons, just a little bit differently. They still have some really good ideas for things, so I'm very excited to see what they can do even beyond Firebase Z and into future maps, but this Ray Rifle is what I'm going to call it. I know that's not the official name of it, but Ray Rifle seems like the easiest name to do. Therefore, I'm going to be calling that. That thing looks awesome. Another thing that looks really awesome in this map is the boss zombies. To me, boss zombies are a lot more important than what most people make them out to be. And so far, the bosses on this map look really damn cool. Of course, you have the Mike Wazowski looking ass. Kind of looks like a Margwa, but just with one head. Almost like the one boss from The Darkest Shore as well from World War II. He looks really cool. He seems like he runs at you, so I don't know. He looks like a pretty cool looking boss. Definitely very different than the Megaton. I'm glad we're getting a boss that looks very different than the bosses from the Machine. And then, of course, we also had the, what I think they call him the Elder God. And he's that dude that was on the Machine in the background, but like he didn't actually do anything. But now he's here and actually zapping at you. Now, is that going to be the boss fight of the map? I kind of hope not, just because I would prefer the boss fight be something we don't see before in the map, meaning it's something that's a surprise to us. But if that is the boss fight, I'm still okay with it. It's better than not having a boss fight at all. Definitely, we better have a boss fight. That That's like my number one thing that I'm hopeful for in this map, that I just want a damn good boss fight. And if he's the boss, I could deal with it. But like I said, it'd be kind of cool if he was also just another side mini boss, or maybe like a Zesibo Noshima situation where you have two different boss fights. There's one boss fight against the giant spider, and then later on you go against the Takio um, as like a tree or whatever later on in the Easter egg. I think that'd be kind of cool, but I don't really know how much they're going to be doing with it, but we'll have to wait and see, of course. Also, I am very happy that the map, of course, takes place in Vietnam because, of course, we've never seen a Vietnam Zombies map before, so to get one is pretty awesome, but the one disappointment I have with this is it doesn't seem like we're going to be fighting in the Vietnam jungles. Now, this isn't a big deal, but whenever I pictured, you know, a Vietnam Zombies map, I always pictured the Vietnam jungles. That's what most people think of when they think of Vietnam, like the jungly swamps type area. It seems like this is going to be just in the base itself as well as 
over at the little like uh, like the little village that we get to start at it seems you start the village and then you go through the teleporter which takes you to the outpost that's what it seems like it's gonna be and it's not a big deal but it definitely makes it feel less like the iconic like you know cold war vietnam era type places that we were used to seeing like for example in the break on through mission from the campaign in cold war that those type of jungles is kind of what i was expecting but again that's not a big deal that's just a minor gripe that i have because i think the jungles just they look a little cooler for vietnam i gotta say they look like they'd be a little bit more fun to be fighting zombies in like these really like you know tree filled areas because how many zombie maps have we had where there's just trees like everywhere you know what i mean like the only ones that come to mind are shangri-la and zetsubo no shima maybe but that's really it i guess rave in the redwoods if you're counting your non treyarch games and such but i don't know i am glad that the map definitely is a different feel at least in terms of how it looks from the trailer of course we have to play it for ourselves to really get that but one of the things i hated about advanced warfare and world war ii is that almost every map kind of felt the same like World War II, they even reuse the same soundtracks. The, the locations were very, very similar. Even if they were in different like countries, they still had a very similar feel and look. And I, I'm just glad that they have a different color palette here. They have a different, completely different location, completely different atmosphere and theme to the map. And I hope they keep up with that. I do not want to see a map that resembles D Machine or Firebase Z at all after this i want every map to be very different games like black ops 3 black ops 4 and infinite warfare did this the best if you could look at a cod game and you just you say you say color simply just a color and you are able to point out a specific map from that game then you know that map succeeded like if you think of black ops 3 and you hear the the color green you know you're gonna think of zetsubo no Shima. you hear the color orange you think of shadows of evil you hear the color blue you think of derizen you hear the color red you think of grad Krovi. having those specific color palettes for specific maps is just brilliant and makes the maps feel so diverse and different in their atmospheres and i'm glad cold war is going in that direction but the one thing that i hope to see is locations that are more interesting than a goddamn snowy forest with Nocturne and Toten. Now, I think Vietnam is 100% more interesting than what the machine's location was, for sure, but I'm hoping that the maps going forward keep up with that. And I've heard a decent amount of people complaining that Firebase Z's map is actually made up of other maps that we've seen or other places, other assets we've seen from Cold War already, actually, one of them from Black Ops 4 even. Of course, the starting area is actually taken right from the camp second campaign mission in Cold War that was Vietnam. And I, I noticed that, and I actually knew that was probably going to happen in the first place because of leaks. People were saying all about the Vietnam stuff coming to this game, and a lot of people were saying some of the locations are going to be straight from the campaign. I'm completely okay with that, though. I don't see why that's an issue. Uh, people say, oh, because we've already been in these locations before. But to that, I say we haven't been in these locations in zombies and that that's the most important thing to me you know would i prefer a completely new location sure i would but it's not game breaking to me as long as the location is cool and interesting i'm fine with it there's plenty of campaign locations from not just cold war but really a lot of other cod campaigns that i would love to see as zombie maps imagine like and it saves them time too that's the thing we're in a pandemic you have to realize that and they have a really you know just short development cycle for this game so i understand why they'd want to reuse some assets and i have no problem with that now of course i do have a problem that there's only been one map so far in cold war and it's already february but that's not the discussion here we're just talking about firebase c itself so i'll let it slide but i would prefer a new location as i said but it's whatever but like i was saying there's tons of cool campaign places that can work really well in zombies like the mission in red light green light which is still one of my favorite missions from cold war that takes place in this Russian facility that's made to be an American town. That was a really great mission. That would work really well as a zombie map. And there's plenty of other missions like that from COD that I'd love to see. So I really don't have a big deal with it, right? Even when they reuse old zombie locations, I wasn't really that angry about it. I was not the type of person to complain about remakes back in Black Ops 4 because they were so incredibly different from the original. I, again, would prefer completely new places, but if it's a place we haven't seen in quite some time, I don't see the issue with it. I don't. If it's a place we've never even seen before in zombies at all, what's the big deal? Like, people who are complaining about Alpha Omega partially being in blackout, I, I don't get the... I don't get the reason from I really just don't get it like okay we've played it in blackout so apparently that's the same as playing it in zombies so you've already played the map what 
makes no sense to me. But regardless, I have no problem with Firebase C being based off of locations that we've seen already. And most of the locations still look relatively new, like the, the base itself is a bunch of locations we've never seen before. I think part of it is from Blackout, like part of the array location of it is the array multiplayer map from Black Ops 1, but it's more like the array location from Blackout, but it doesn't look like it's identical though. It's definitely got some differences to it, so it's whatever. They reuse assets all the time. We know this, all developers do. It's smart. I honestly think they should reuse and utilize their assets a little bit more like there's I've made a video on this before but there's tons of different things they can do with assets in these games like multiplayer maps they should be using as more mo zombie maps I know they use them for onslaught but I want to see them being used in, in more places like just zombie survival like we should have a nuketown zombie survival map right now but for some reason we don't they need to do it more uh, that's my disappointment is the fact that they don't do it more of course we should still have new maps on top of it but I want to see more you know things utilize what you have in the game more often you have like these fire team maps which are really cool use those for zombies i don't freaking know use you can use anything man there's so much they can do with their assets and i feel like it wouldn't take nearly as long because you don't have to actually make the assets again themselves you just have to kind of you know make them a little bit more themed towards zombies i guess is the way to best way to put it so the only things i'm necessarily worried about from this trailer that kind of make me like I don't, I don't know i don't know if it's gonna be this amazing map is how different will it be from Firebase C in terms of gameplay? Not in terms of the aesthetic, obviously it looks very different, but in terms of gameplay, I don't know. The only difference I see there is obviously this new under weapon, obviously there's new bosses, but that's stuff that we kind of expected to see. And there's of course the jump pads that they added, which look pretty cool. But is it going to have a lot of new features? Is it going to have a lot of new things to just use in general? I know they're adding the new score streaks, but they're going to add those to the other map anyways. So it's not really a Firebase C specific thing. They're also going to be adding, you know, Tombstone, but Tombstone's also going to be added to D Machine again. So it's not a specific thing just to Firebase C. I don't know. My, my biggest, like, worry, though, would have to be the Easter egg. I, I just, I hope it's a good Easter egg. I hope they don't make it as simplistic as what D Machines was. I know a lot of people might like those simplistic Easter eggs. To those people I say, hopefully they give a compromise where there's a simplistic Easter egg, but also a hardcore version of it of some sort. I don't know, but I don't want an Easter egg that I can jump in and do relatively easily on my first try, or at least my first couple tries. I want it to be kind of hard, and I want the community to kind of struggle with it. Now that doesn't mean I want random and obnoxious and tedious steps. No, you can make it hard and challenging while still being fun and rewarding and, and, and replayable. It doesn't have to be tedious. Like, people always think hard equals tedious. No, they do not have to be interchangeable. So, that's just my two cents on that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, when Firebase Z comes out, I will be live streaming my first playthrough on the map, as well as bring you guys some reviews on it. Maybe tutorials, probably not. I'm not the tutorial type of person because a million other people already do those, so it's not really something that I tend to like to do all the time. So, as I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.